Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be fixing my old, um, and this is uh, really my old um, Walkman, um, an F31 from 1987. And don't rush to um, ask me which grade that was, but I used to have this uh, at school. Now it's been like 20 more years plus. Um, and uh, I just uh, thought uh, I should give it a try. The only thing for sure is that um, the belt um, will uh, must be replaced. And I know I don't know what else uh, um, uh, needs to be done, but uh, we can investigate this together and attempt a repair. Uh, because I used to love this, uh, and I still love this. Uh, device. I'm not the guy that uh, throws away stuff and um, yeah it reminds me of my childhood and um, um, I'll do whatever if possible to make it work. Now apart from the belt uh, we'll see what else is needed for, for the time being. I'm gonna place uh, fresh batteries and um, try to see at least if the uh, radio works so this will give me an indication that uh, at least uh, there is power uh, going through the circuit and um, we have chances um, the, uh, if I try to see the um, tape motor is not working so I, uh, let's see if the radio works the least I can do for now is first test and it's gonna be this So let me grab my uh, headphones and try to listen to radio, the least I can do. Um, and this, if this works, then we know there is power around the uh, circuit. And if I can listen to some radio stations, um, yeah, um, we're having um, a working um, circuit. The least I can do is this now, play and the rest. Uh, are dead and it's probably because of it, it's a natural thing because uh, the belt must have uh, been cut inside we'll see this uh, we'll check this later the, the bad thing is there is no sound coming from the radio so I think uh, I should open it up and check because several things are going wrong here obviously right so this is the first time I see this there is no belt there is actually no belt this is the radio compartment here the variable capacitor you can see and this module is the pre amplifier and the power supply and this is a module because you can plug it in and plug it out but again uh, this dark roller over here must must be the uh, adjustable roller to hold the tape together you can see well I cannot see any uh, left over from the uh, belt and this is very weird this is the motor um, which moves the uh, adjustment uh, roller and this white one in the middle is one that um, moves the reel the tape the actual movement of the tape uh, but again let me check I think the old belt is melted and I mean literally melted uh, I can see around uh, the adjustment roller some leftovers so let me scratch a bit so indeed the old belt has been melted I have to remove every sign of it and it's um, yeah, it's a hard thing to do. It's sticky and glossy, and uh, I have to uh, remove everything in order to place um, the new belt in place. So let me do just that. You can see the pieces of the old belt melted uh, everywhere around the rollers and the motor. Um, 
so yeah let me clean this up um, the best way I can and we can replace the bolt um, in a while yeah I'll be back okay cleaning time I have never seen this before you can see melt the uh, belt uh, rubber or whatever that is but okay it's it's been left for over two decades um, but I have never seen this like it was exploded or something even um, at the back cover you can find leftovers from the old uh, belt like this and you cannot even touch it and remove it you have to uh, clean it uh, with alcohol um, yeah let me clean this and I'll get back to you okay I managed to find um, two belts a short one which is uh, thick enough I don't think it's gonna be working with this one uh, this is very tight it can only go to the adjustment uh, roller and the motor um, but the other one uh, the, the bigger one uh, can go down to the central uh, white roller uh, on the left so yeah um, just and it, it has to be not tight not loose of course um, but this one is very thick I don't think it, uh, it's gonna be working with a short one this little one but uh, out of curiosity I'm just uh, putting it on the yeah it would be it would be uh, good just for um, the adjustment roller and the motor um, uh, it's uh, out of the question I'm gonna be using the the, the bigger one uh, which is also thinner so it can uh, hold together all three uh, points yeah this is very tight no no it's out of the question uh, it doesn't work very well so let me put the other one on now we're going to investigate why uh, there was no sound and no radio signal in the beginning this is the preamp amplifier and the power module down here the belt is in place you can see all uh, three rollers uh, actually two rollers and the motor and uh, we need to check why there was no uh, sound coming from the uh, at least the radio if there's anything wrong here in the preamplifier but I do not believe so because preamplifier pre is connected to the head the playback head uh, so that we can listen to the music um, or if there is any other um, damage around this power area or finally we should check the components like the capacitor um, some other components like um, these coils um, for the frequencies and all that <coughs> and check why we didn't have sound uh, during our first uh, tests and uh, yeah we are going <coughs> underside now this is the module it's uh, pluggable um, the preamp and the power and uh, here we found another issue which is a major damage there is a ribbon cable from the head the playback head to the preamp uh, before the preamp um, uh, circuit uh, that goes into the main board and those three ribbon cables have been cut or damaged or uh, whatever so I need to cut it right next to some somewhere somewhere right next to the head and replace those ribbons don't say anything about my uh, testing speaker here um, so I'm gonna be replacing the um, and testing the sound um, right after the operation I'm gonna be replacing the ribbon with uh, three cables from the head to the main board again from the head to the main board uh, following the traces S 
so um, let's see if I can do just that and um, solder the uh, cables and re uh, bypass the ribbon so it doesn't look uh, that bad uh, but it needs uh, precise soldering and uh, I need to cut the ribbon close to the head as close as I can and put some real wires over here let's see what I can do um, yeah it's soldering time I'll cut it right somewhere here and bypass it completely now skipping the soldering boring uh, stage you can see the red brown and white cables um, instead of the ribbon um, soldered onto the main board and on the other side um, at the back of the playback head um, and the ribbon was cut um, so let's let's uh, test it out and see if it works and for the last part I screwed uh, back the module uh, the preamp and power module and cleaned it everything with alcohol uh, that much I did and let's test it that was an easy and um, quick fix here is my uh, testing uh, handmade speaker again it works like a charm I'm gonna play around with fast forward and back and forth tape uh, play stop or whatever it is in the radio and uh, that will be all for today I can call it a wrap it goes back forth and it plays um, sorry for um, uh, not playing the music but I'm not gonna uh, I don't want to have any trouble uh, with copyrights and stuff but it actually works and I'm very pleased and happy um, I'm gonna be listening to some old um, 80s hits I guess tonight just for the good old times sake um, uh, thanks for watching consider subscribing we'll, we'll be back with uh, other electronics uh, soon uh, repairs and yeah stuff from the past vintage retro um, you name it so thanks again thanks for watching bye